Hello, I hope you enjoy what my mom is going to do today. <laughs> okay, you guys, we have a 300 volt independent voltage source. This is problem number 29 of chapter 3 on current and voltage division. And um, we're going to find the current I sub G. Okay? And um, this is a 60 ohm resistor, 8, 30, 80, 20, and 4. And we need to find the power dissipated in this 30 ohm resistor. So the first thing we have to do, uh, and we will be using current division to do that. So the first thing we have to recognize is that this here, I'm going to use different colors. Can I get red, please, finally? Um, oh, here it is. So we're going to start um, finding equivalent resistances. This is 80 in parallel. 80 in parallel with 20, which is 1 over 80, 1 divided by 80 plus 1 divided by 20, inverse that will give me 16. So this whole branch is worth 16. 16, this branch right here is 16, 16 plus 4, which is, which is, equal to 20 ohms. So now we got 30. This branch here is now in parallel with all of that. We got 30 in parallel with 20. It's going to give you 1 divided by 30 plus 1 divided by 20 inverse that. This whole thing is worth from here to here is worth um, 12 ohms. And 12 ohms is in series with that, so 8 plus 12 is going to give me 20 ohms. So now we have 60 in parallel with 20, and that will give me 1 divided by 60 plus 1 divided by 20, inverse that. So all of this is the same thing as 15 ohms, and we needed that because we're going to use Ohm's Law to find I sub G. So V is equal to IR, so I is equal to V over R, which is 300 over 15, which is 20 amps. So the answer to part A is 20 amps. So we know 20 amps is entering here, and it will break up and go like that. We need to find this right here, this I that goes through here, because this is the I that's going to split up and go in this direction, and we need this I in order to calculate um, the power. So what's the amount that's going there? Well, we said from here to here. Let's go back to our calculation. That was worth 20, right? So if that is worth 20, well, actually, this whole circuit is worth 15 ohms. So this 300 amps, three, or 20 amps, excuse me, this 20 amps is going to split part of it here, part of it there. And we're going to use current division, which says the amount that's going to split here is going to be the equivalent resistance divided by the, um, the resistance of this, the branch that's going through. So the, the resistance from here to here is 20 ohms. And the total resistance is 15, so current division tells us that, that 20 amps will split into 15, which is this, the value, excuse me, the total equivalent resistance, so REQ, right? is 15 ohms, and then the value of this whole thing that the, the 20 amps will see on this branch is 20 ohms, 20 ohms, and that will give me 20, well actually the 20s cancel out, giving me 15 amps. So 15 amps is going to go through here. We've got 15 amps going through there, splitting up this way and splitting up that way. On this branch it will clearly see 30. And the rest of this, we said, was 4 in parallel with 16, which is 20. So this here, this whole thing here, is worth 20, uh, 20 ohms. So we got 30 in parallel with 20, which we said was 12. So that's our REQ. So we've got the 15 amps, and it's going to split REQ is 12, and going through the 30, right? So that's going to tell me... 15 times 12 divided by 30, 15 times 12 divided by 30. That tells me 6 amps will go through here. So we got 6 amps going through the 30 ohms, 
And we know that power is equal to I squared R. Therefore, 6 squared times 30 should give you 1080 watts. Okay? All right, Bradley, do your thing. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, comment, and thank you for watching. Thank you, Bradley.